Today is January 1st, the first day of 2024. We're going to our local Walmart to see if they have any LPS. As of right now, there are some states in America that have received LPS in their stores, like California, Texas, New Mexico, Nevada, and Kentucky. They are slowly making their way into stores and across shelves, but it doesn't seem to be at the same time for every store. There weren't any LPS, but there were definitely a lot of knockoff LPS-inspired toys. I did get this Honey Bee Acre set, though. So now I'm going to look at and unbox the Honey Bee Acre set. This is my first Honey Bee Acre set. I've been wanting one of them for a while. They're similar to Calico Critters, but I guess some people call them the off-brand version of Calico Critters. But similarly to Calico Critters, these props are a great size for LPS and they're super cute. I believe they're also typically cheaper than Calico Critters, which is nice. Personally, I like them. I think they're great. So I just want to say that I know some people don't like these sets as much as Calico Critters, which I understand. I think Calico Critters are ultimately more realistic and maybe they like the little characters more. Personally, I'm not getting these for the characters because I'm just using the props for my LPS. But I do want to say that I think these are really cute. I like the packaging of Calico Critters as well, but this packaging is adorable. Like, picking a background for this video was very easy and very fitting. Like, I just love the colors and just the cute little vibe of it. I personally really like the packaging. It also has a little handle at the top, which I didn't notice at first. That's super cute. And now I'm going to open the set and show you everything that's in it, give you a size comparison with LPS. And this is the first unboxing that I am doing this year. If you've seen anything before that, then it was filmed in 2023. But this is the first like package, not LPS, because it's not an LPS package, but the first like box, any sort of set anything like that that I'm opening and so that's really exciting. So it looks like to open it we're gonna need some scissors. Okay, so it looks like the things are in some plastic bags. Okay, that looks like all of it. So everything in the set comes in this one plastic bag, and it looks like it does come with a little figure. I wasn't sure if it would. The Calico Critter sets that I've gotten so far have not come with the figures, but I'm okay with that because I'm not really looking to collect them. I don't really know if I'm going to have a use for this or if I'm going to keep it, but anyway, everything's in here, and so I'm going to open the bag. According to the back of the box, this is Lola, and it says, Lola loves painting. Dressed in her art smock with her palette and brush, Lola can't wait to paint her favorite subject, flowers. The rolling cart is always nearby, holding her paint jars and other art supplies. It's definitely cute, it's just not what I collect. But here it's showing another set, the Sweet Dreams Pajama Party. That looks cute. And this set comes with 13 pieces. So now we're going to look at those 13 pieces. Okay, so first here's Lola. She's very fuzzy feeling. Her head moves a little bit, I guess. Not like a bobble, but it can turn a bit. And I guess she's like, I was gonna say a cat, but she kinda looks like a fox. I should know, but I'm not sure. And she's not like LPS, like she's standing on two legs, so more anthropomorphic. I think this can be taken off, maybe? The little art smock? Yeah, it looks like, it looks like it's got Velcro. That's a nice touch if you want to put different clothes on it, which I don't have any others, but... Yeah, looks like you can take it off. Oh dear, why does she have holes in her back? I'm not sure what that's for, but yeah. Oh, I guess are these connected? Okay, well, I'm gonna put this back on her because I want her to have some clothes on. Okay, maybe this is just because I'm not used to honeybee acres, but I don't know how to put this on and it's not super important, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time right now trying to do that, so I'm just gonna put her off to the side for now. I'm not gonna try to figure out how to get her dressed again. It's just a mess. I should not have taken it off. I was just trying to show that you can take it off, but anyway. So now on to what I actually got this set for. First, I'll take out the easel. Okay, 
So here we go, it's the easel, front and back, and it looks like, yeah, you gotta set it up, it's not, not completely set up yet. Okay, there's this piece, which I believe is connected, so let's figure out how to do that. Okay, I don't know if this is supposed to be that complicated. It looks and sounds like it would be right. Maybe it's just cheap and doesn't look very well. But, gotta get this figured out for the video. I counted the number of pieces there are, including these two things as separate pieces. There were only 11, so I'm guessing the figure and her outfit counts as a separate piece. Well, anyway, the easel has this little thing here to put your supplies on. I like that. It's got the little flower for decoration. It's got these things. It's got the little flower painting, and I think that it looks pretty cute. I don't like how hard this is to put together, and then these parts can, like, move, which I don't think they're really supposed to. So it might just be cheaply made. I don't know, but... It is, like, it's been really difficult to put it together. And I don't think it's meant to be that difficult, especially because these are, like, kids' toys. But they're pretty difficult to keep together. Moving on, something that does not require any assembly. There is this little rolling card for art supplies. Now, I love this. This is possibly my favorite accessory in the pack. Like, this reminds me of art class in school. So here it is. The wheels don't... I mean, they can move like that, but, like, if you try to slide it, it's not going to move on its own. But if somebody is, like, trying to use it, then they could move it. But I think that it's really nice. Could definitely be useful. It doesn't just have to be for art supplies. It could be for whatever. So I do like this piece. And then we have all the small pieces, which are pretty tiny, which are all the art pieces. There are these two paintbrushes. There's a green one and a red one. There's this little jar of red paint, a jar of green paint, and a jar of blue paint. And here's this palette. I really like all the colors, kind of realistic. Not so much on the back side, but I think this is really pretty. There is also a tiny pair of blue scissors. Now, now as small as these are, they are LPS size. And then there's this little bucket. I guess this could be like for water to put the brushes in. Now it's time for an LPS comparison with all these things. Okay, so I tried just putting together the pieces of the easel and then just sitting it down. And if I do that, it stands up. I don't know if it'll stay up if I move it. Okay, I guess that's how you're supposed to do it. I was doing it like in the air, so they just kept falling apart, but I guess it will stay up if you do it like this. Okay, so I used some blue tack to attach the paintbrush and the palette to the panda. And I don't know about you, but I think this is super cute. I think it looks adorable with its art accessories. And so here is an LPS size comparison. I personally think it's a perfect size for LPS, and then LPS are different sizes, you know, pandas are sitting down or kind of smaller, but I just wanted to use a panda because it's new and it's also getting me excited for the new pandas and the blind boxes that I will hopefully be getting soon at the time of recording this. Once I realized that the easel was actually easier to put up than I thought it was, I feel better about it. I thought that it was like designed poorly and that it just could not stay together but I realize it does once you just actually set it down. So I don't spend a bunch of time trying to do it in the air. Just put it together, set it down, it'll stay together. I don't know how durable it is but it seems fine. I can pick it up, see, and it stays together. So I feel better about that. And then got the art supplies on this cart. I noticed that the blue paint bottle doesn't have the white top like the others. It's just kind of the same color so that's kind of inconsistent. But I do like the accessories, they're very good for LPS, and this could be perfect for like a school setting, an art class, whatever, or just someone painting at home. It is super cute, so I don't really have any complaints about the set. It's my first Honey Bee Acre set, and I'm happy with it. I will definitely be wanting to get some more Honey Bee Acre sets in the future. I am just happy to add more accessories and props to my LPS collection. They will be very useful. So yeah, that is my unboxing and review of the Honey Bee Acres Paint and Color Art Fun set. That's an interesting name. 
don't exactly sound as good as the Calico Critter sets, but it's all right. I'm going to go back to Walmart in a few days, and we're going to see if we can get this G2 panda some G7 panda friends. By the way, when I do find new LPS in stores, the unboxing video is going to be a separate video because in this video there's already the vlog footage, plus it turned into a Honeybee Acres unboxing. So I want the unboxing to be separate so that when somebody sees that video, they just instantly get the unboxing instead of all this other stuff. But personally, I found the Honeybee Acres thing interesting, so I wanted to share that with you. And then the unboxing video will be separate. So this video is just like a vlog and unboxing, I guess now, about searching for the LPS and what I've gotten along the way. And then the unboxing will be separate and it will come very soon. Today is January 5th, and we are continuing our search for LPS. The official LPS Instagram page recently stated that Target is expected to have LPS on shelves on January 7th, and Walmart is expected to have them on February 12th. Because of that, we will not be searching at Walmart for a little while. However, they are apparently being sold at GameStop, so we're going to go to our local GameStop and see if they have any. Today is January 9th and I have been checking Target's website every day for updates on the availability of LPS products. For some people in America, it has been easy to find LPS. They found some at GameStop or at Target. For me, I have not found any yet. So right now, and it seems to be the same for others, they've just been showing these two tube packs, but not the one with the otter, the shark, and the seagull, and this hamster play set. And some people have found these tubes at the store, along with the blind boxes, which currently are not being shown on the website. They're on and off. Like, right now, I don't see them on there, but sometimes they're back on there. Either way, for my local store, it says that all the products are unavailable, and I could order them online, but I want to experience getting them in stores, like I did as a kid, and I'm sure many of you can relate to wanting to relive or have that experience for the first time. So it's been a little difficult and confusing, we're not going to go out to any more stores until we have confirmation that a store is actually carrying LPS and because we don't need to waste gas. So I got this tube. They had the City Vibes one, but I don't really like that one, and those were all the LPS products they had that day. I know the blind boxes have been in and out of stock, but I'm really hoping to get those soon. But I am glad that I got this one. These are my first G7 LPS, and it was so exciting to see LPS in stores again, especially in the same Target that I got a lot of my childhood LPS from. Then we went to GameStop and were told that they did have LPS, but that they were all sold out, and a lot of people have been asking and calling about them. When asked if they were going to restock them, they said that they don't have control of their inventory, so I don't know if they'll be getting more. We'll probably still look just in case. As I said, the unboxing will be in a separate video which I will be uploading tomorrow. I got some other things that same day that I know will be great for my videos, so I wanted to show you. And by the way, we've got the festive pinata wallpaper because we are celebrating all the great things we got. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some more miniature prop. I got this artist's workbench, super cute. That's going to be me soon, customizing LPS. I got some wreaths. These will be good for the Christmas season. I got these little Oreo looking cookies. This iced tea, which comes with a pitcher half full and two cups, but it looks like one of them fell into the pitcher, but there are two cups in the these dollar bills. This cooking set, it's got a whisk, a bowl, a cookbook, and two eggs. And I got these little mushrooms. Gazebo thing. I might paint it and I think that it's kind of good LPS size. They had one that was like this, but smaller. I thought maybe it would be too small for regular sized LPS. But I think that this would be a good set piece that I could use in video. I got some papers that can be used as backgrounds and flooring. And I got two 
with some grass and some grass flooring is something that I've been needing for quite a while. This will really help me out with my videos. Finally, I will have more realistic and it'll just be great for set building. I also got a lot of things that will be good for a Valentine's Day special that I plan on making soon. Those I will save for the special, you'll see them then. Hobby Lobby definitely had a lot of good Valentine's Day stuff and I think it's going to look great. And now the last thing I want to show you is this mini brands ball. My first one, and I guess this one is series 5, I guess this one isn't a specific theme, it's just the brands in general. I do have one mini brands item, it's a bag of donuts that was thrown together in a food bundle from the Littlest Pet Shop stop. But I've never gotten them from their original packaging before, so this is exciting. I don't really know what's in here, so I'm excited to find out. Hopefully there will be some things that I can use as props in my video. Unbox ultra rare frozen moment minis. That's interesting. I believe there are quite a few that you can get. Okay, that took a while, but I finally got all the packaging off. So now it's time to open it. Okay, so this isn't one where it splits out into the little wedges. This just has a bunch of little blind bags. Oh, a pamphlet. See, I've seen the G7 LPS pamphlet so many times. I haven't seen this one, so I'm gonna look at everything they've got, see if there are any items that I'm particularly hoping for. I'm guessing these are the ones that I can get in this pack. Exciting, there are so many. The Pringles can is cute. Collect them all. I probably won't do that, but okay. Yeah, and then there are their different brands. Toys, Disney Store, Fashion, Foodie. I believe there are books as well. Mini Minis inside in these packages. I guess that's a possibility. Okay. Oh, I got some money. I just got money, so I'm hoping not for that. The syrup looks cool. The stapler, the post-it notes, those all look like they'd be useful. And you can't really use them, they're just there. The sunscreen would be useful too, but oh, I guess these are the frozen moments, ultra rare ones. Those would only work well in videos for certain frames though. Glow in the dark, metallic, they've got a lot going on. So these are all like real brands, but just miniature. Oh, the goldfish. I like that. Oh, Milano cookies? Okay. Oh, there's more. They've okay, got some canned foods. Oh, the little the peanut butter crackers, the orange ones. That's so cute. Popcorn. Okay, I got some drinks. Got Sprite. Oh, there are cans. And Powerade. A lemonade can. Okay. I guess there are 99 different things that I could possibly get. I guess I just start with this and I believe I get five in each ball. What did we get? We got Campbell's Chunky Soup That Eats Like a Meal. I'm reading it through the camera, I think that's what it says. And sometimes when it doesn't focus well, it's hard to see. So I guess this is like beef stew. I don't know if I've ever had this beef stew before, but yeah, super detailed. It has like the nutrition facts and all that. An LPS character could definitely use this as like a dinner or something. Okay, so we got some beef stew. Maybe we'll have some drink to go along with the food or something different completely. I really like that I can't see what it is through the bags. post-it notes thing but it's the heart and these things aren't meant to be opened show off your style with a post-it pop-up note dispenser so that's what it looks like it's just a real thing i don't think i've ever had a note dispenser like that but that's cool this unfortunately wouldn't be super useful for videos but it could be if you use your imagination i think maybe just about any of these could be useful like it could be given as a gift it's just nobody will actually be able to use it but it is cute and Valentine's Day is coming up. Hey, maybe this will become a part of my Valentine's Day. When I got them, it's plastic packaging. It's got some information about the dispenser. I mean, the drinks are cool, but I think I already have like a Coke bottle, a Pepsi bottle, a Sprite bottle, some Coke cans. So I'm not too desperate for more of those. They're not mini brands or something else, I think, but yeah. Are you kidding me? 
I swear I could not see that in the bag. This is why I love filming things. Like I've had these things, the Mini Brands Ball and the LPS Tube for over 24 hours and I've had to wait until I can film it. And I've been patient. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I have to do it for the video. I want to capture this moment. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I have, well, let's look at it. <laughs> this, this is a little different. Oh, okay, this is zero sugar Coca-Cola. At least it's a different version. <laughs> We've got some variety. Like I have the on-brand Coca-Cola bottle, the zero sugar Coca-Cola bottle, and the off-brand, I think they're called the Cola-Cola. Coke cans. Just funny. I saw that I was like, no way. I mean, it's useful, but <laughs> I was hoping for something else. It's just funny more than anything to me. Alright, well hopefully the next thing is not a Sprite bottle or something that I pretty much already have, but hey, it's zero sugar, so that's cool, I guess. Alright, bag number four, I guess. <laughs> The chances of this one being something that I pretty much already have are low, but who knows. This one's kind of big, but this one's kind of feels good. Oh! Oh, I got something. I got one of these. I don't know if these are really rare. I don't know the rarity. Yeah, I got a UPS box. I got a package. I'm not entirely sure if I know how this works, because I know the pamphlet showed this. If you know, please let me know. I don't know a whole lot about mini brands. Does this mean that there's going to be another one on that pamphlet in here? Not the other box, of course, but just any of the others. So I get like two. Or for example, with the UPS box, is it always the same thing in it? Or can there be different things? I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out. Now this you can actually open, so let's see what we got. Okay. What's in here? Hmm. It's got a little thing of nail polish. Honestly, the UPS box I will definitely keep. I already have the other little packages. This is basically just an extra thing, and that can definitely be useful. Yeah, up here it says Revlon, so I believe that's nail polish. Which kind of doesn't work so well with my LPS, but I think it could be a good set piece, like a good prop to have in the background on a nightstand or something like that. Okay, well it's cool that we got one of the ones with the box, so I'm technically getting six things. And now it's time for the last bag. Overall, I do think mini brands are pretty cool, especially because they're actual brands and not just like little pieces like some of the things I have. I'll probably get some more in the future. Anyway. Alright, what's in here? It's the Milano cookies, yeah! That's so nice! Dark chocolate, pepperidge farm. Rich dark chocolate hidden between delicate cookies. Yes, I'm so glad I got these because I like these in real life. I'm gonna look at the pamphlet again and see which ones I was hoping for most. I'd say the ones I was hoping for most were the goldfish, the, Mil the popcorn, the peanut butter crackers. See, I was about to say with popcorn, I already have one. I know I have at least one bowl full of popcorn. This would be good too, because then that can be before when they're making the popcorn. The Sprite bottle looks cool. I think these are all the zero sugar versions so, though, but I already have a regular Sprite bottle, so I'm not too desperate for that. The Powerade's, the lemonade's cool. I like the Suns, the Pringles are pretty cool. That's probably a fan favorite. And then I guess I got this one. I'll check them off on the checklist. So here are the six things that I got in my very first mini brands. My favorite is definitely the Milano cookies pack. And like I said, these can't be opened or used. They're just there. I don't really know what their original intention was, maybe as collectibles or for doll or LPS. And I think it's really cool that I got six things instead of five because I got the box. And I think that all these can be useful 
some to a higher degree than others, but I do think it was a really fun experience. Seeing the Coca-Cola bottle was a little disappointing, but ultimately I'm still thankful for it. But the Milano cookies definitely helped things get better. That was pretty exciting. So that was super fun. Let me know if you'd like to see me do more mini brands because I would definitely like. Oh, and of course, here is a size comparison with LPS. So as you can see, they're a pretty good size for LPS. I guess compared to an LPS, they are kind of big, but I think it's fine, especially the box. Thank you for watching my first G7 LPS hunt. Although it is taking a while for certain LPS products to be available, I do have patience and overall gratitude that G7 LPS even exists in the first place and that I was able to get this pack. And I know that it's been a little difficult waiting for some products to come to stores and there have been things like Amazon pre-order delays, but I just encourage you to stay patient and positive because we will get our pets and all these difficult times will just be a memory and we're gonna be okay. I know that it's kind of hard when you're seeing other people get these pets and you don't have them yet, but you will get them. It'll be okay. If you'd like to see me unbox this tube, the video will be up the day after this video is uploaded. Bye.